This is the morning shower brought to you by Late Night Hump. Let the news wash over you with Jordan Freed, Brendan O'Brien, and Rena Ezra. These are your shower headlines. The second Jennifer Bates walks away from her post at the Amazon warehouse where she works, the clock starts ticking. She has precisely 30 minutes to get to the cafeteria and back for her lunch break. That means traversing a warehouse the size of 14 football fields, which eats up precious time. She avoids bringing food from home because warming it up in the microwave would cost her even more minutes. Instead, she opts for $4 cold sandwiches from the vending machine and hurries back to her post. If she makes it, she's lucky. If she doesn't, Amazon could cut her pay or worse, fire her. In a surprising turn of events, Amazon is cheap. She should just order her lunch from Whole Foods Delivery. Somehow they get it to you in 20 minutes. Many Amazon workers have been trying to unionize during the pandemic only to be fired, intimidated, or suppressed. So it turns out that Alexa's most powerful skill is crossing a picket line. The skeletal remains of six pirates who likely served under the legendary Captain Samuel Black Sam Bellamy have been discovered off the coast of Massachusetts, and one of them could have been Bellamy himself. The New England Historical Society said Bellamy thought of himself as the Robin Hood of the sea. Arg! if that be true, then someone best tell Black Sam that it's not good to be associated with Robin Hood these days, and he'd be wise to invest in some good PR. Instagram on Wednesday banned Robert F. Kennedy Jr., son of former presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy, from repeatedly posting misinformation about vaccine safety and COVID-19. Kennedy Jr. has amassed a huge following on social media where he frequently posts debunked or unproven claims about vaccines. Buddy, I think your family has bigger conspiracies to worry about. NASA scientists have proposed searching for advanced extraterrestrial civilizations among the stars by looking for a specific kind of pollution associated with combustion. Really what this is all about is Earth is trying to find another planet who pollutes as much as we do so we can say... See, everyone else is doing it. Indoor dining is restarting in New York City at 25% capacity. Outside the five boroughs, indoor dining is available at 50% capacity. So remember that when five out of 20 subway riders are already munching on pizza, wait for the next car to eat your slice. YouTube is still recommending extremist and white supremacist videos to viewers already susceptible to racial hatred. The the nation's most popular social media platform has removed large amounts of extremist content under political pressure. Exposure to harmful videos is still common. Really, YouTube is more frustrated that their premium service YouTube Red never really gained any popularity, while YouTube White seems to be doing better than ever. A former human resources manager was charged with embezzling more than $600,000 from her South Jersey employer over a one-year scheme and using the stolen funds to pay for designer clothes and plastic surgery. They are the first ever human resources office that will try to change you on the inside and on the outside. Chinese state TV included dancers in blackface portraying Africans during a national broadcast as Asia welcomed the Lunar New Year of the Ox with subdued festivities Friday amid travel curbs to contain renewed coronavirus outbreaks. The only pandemic China is trying to spread is racism. Royal Dutch Shell, one of the multinationals that has defined the oil industry, is slowly turning away from the fossil fuel that made its fortune over the decades past, but also worsened a global climate crisis. This comes at a time that's too late. Thank you for showering with us. Lather, rinse, repeat every day before noon. Scrub-a-dub-dub at latenighthump.com.